like now that I brought so much attention on my intro, I feel like you guys are all waiting for me to just shout it out. So let's try this again. Come on, we can do it, Jennifer. Let's go, let go. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> can you see me? <laughs> okay, it is like really hot and I'm just like cracking up for no reason. La 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 la. <laughs> I mean, I've been doing this intro now for like almost six years, and now I just feel extremely nervous to start this video just because of the fact so many of you were just like, just shout it out. Just shout out in your videos. This is who you are. This is your channel. And just embrace it. I mean, I do embrace it, but then again, I'm trying to please some of you guys. I guess all of you guys, because you have to watch my videos. Well, I guess you don't have to watch my videos. But, I mean, I'm just trying to listen to everybody's critiques. So, that is why I'm a little bit nervous right now. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Hey everyone, it's Barking Princess! <laughs> Did it! So with all that being said, let's just cut this short and sweet. This is my 4th and July inspired makeup tutorial. Hope I get this out there quick enough just because 4th of July is tomorrow. But either way, this is such a nice, refreshing, summery fun natural without all that cakiness makeup tutorial so I hope you all enjoy okay so let's begin as you can see I'm starting with a fresh clean canvas I already washed my face and now what I'm gonna do is moisturize I've been using this Pond's Clarent B3 which a few of you recommend it to clear up my dark spots but you know I'm still suffering with a little bit of acne but I must say like I've said it before my acne has reduced my skin is looking better, and for those of you who have recommended this, so far so good. It's moisturizing. I love the smell, and the funny thing is, even though it has like an overpowering scent, it doesn't break out my face, which is cool. And then on top of that, it helps <laughs> reduce dark spots. I'm now going to apply a little bit of my... Milk of Magnesia, and this is, like I mentioned before, is a laxative, but it helps calm down my oily skin. So I like to heavily apply this onto my skin, so I just slap it on there. So as for the foundation, I've been using this L'Oreal Magic Skin Beautifier BB Cream, which so many of you recommended. I've done a review, I just need to edit it. But I must say, so far so good. So what I like to do is just apply a little bit onto my hand and just smack this onto my face again. The reason why I'm using a BB cream and not a foundation is because we're supposed to be enjoying our 4th of July. We're supposed to be having fun, going to cookouts, possibly swimming. So who wants to wear thick, heavy foundation? So honestly, opt for a BB cream instead. It's very natural, it's lightweight, but it still provides a flawless coverage once you obviously conceal and then add on a little bit of powder. So what are you guys doing on 4th of July? We just found out that we're going to throw a 4th of July party. And I bought decorations. At the dollar store, of course. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is try to keep this as natural as possible, but still with a glam and a pop of color. So I'm going to take this trio that I got from Walmart, and it's called Grand Canyon by Bon Bonds. You get a dark brown, medium brown, and then a yellow tint that sort of looks like a mustardy yellow. I guess just choose whatever gold or bronze that is similar to your eyelid color. So I'm going to actually take the medium brown. Ooh. Wait a minute. <laughs> foremost obviously you want to prime your eyelids just so your eyeshadows can last especially through this hot humid heat oh my god it's like really hot today it's like 90 something degrees tomorrow 4th of July is supposed to be 91 or something like that 
I'm hearing crazy weather on the West Coast. I heard that it's like 126 degrees today on the West Coast, which is crazy. I'm over here like sweating and complaining how hot it is in 90 degree weather. I can't even function or even imagine how 126 degree weather feels like. Comment down below if you live on the West Coast. How are you surviving during this hot, humid weather? I really want to know. Okay, done with the eye priming. So now go back to your eyeshadow, taking your flat top brush, and I'm going to just tap that into the eyeshadow. So going back to my face powder and a large fluffy brush, what I'm going to do is apply this to my crease, and this is going to act as a transition color. To bring a little bit more light to my eyes, I'm using Almay's Bright Eyes Liner Highlight Duo. I think this is discontinued, but honestly, any light, crayon, creamy type textured pencil will do. I just apply this on the inner part of your eyes, as well as your brow bone. Without even blending it in, look at that light just drawn to my eyes. I just love this pen. I'm so sad that they discontinued it, but... Oh well, more shopping. So I'm just taking this NYX eye pencil in electric blue and I'm actually going to apply this on top of my waterline. Isn't that color so pretty? I'm seriously obsessed with this eyeliner. But since it's not waterproof, what I have to do is set it with the blue eyeshadow. I'm using this one, Perfect 10 Colors from Absolute. Look how pigmented that is. I did a review on this, a brief review. Um, I got this eyeshadow palette from iKate House. I'll link all the information down below, but this palette seriously costs less than $3. So now that we have the eyes and the face done, the last thing is lips. My favorite, favorite lipstick, which is 911D from Wet n Wild. I seriously love this lipstick just because it's a MAC dupe for Ruby Woo. Not to mention, it makes your teeth super bright. So this is the before. Ta-da! Doesn't my teeth look whiter? Or maybe it's just in my head. So that is it. That is my 4th of July party makeup. I hope you all enjoyed. It's natural, but with the oomph of color, you have the red and the blue going on. Don't forget to thumbs up this video, show your love and your support. Let me know if you like these type of videos. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in such the longest time. So let me know what you guys want to see, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! My grandmother actually taught me how to braid on a Barbie doll. So if you don't really have anybody to test on, just practice on a Barbie doll.